Alrighty, so I'm here with Katie Kale, one of the stars mm -hmm. of the upcoming Susan Romero film, Spot Check. How are you, Katie? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You look very pretty. Oh. Alright, so <laughs> in the movie Spot Check, you play Love. Yeah. Okay, tell me a little bit about Love. Who is Love? Um, Love is on Team Trinity. She's okay. very religious, always wants to pray. You know, if there's any problems, if anything good happens. Um, out of the three on the team, she's kind of like... The quiet one who doesn't really have a say in anything um so she just tries to go with the flow and if she ever does voice her opinion hope just shuts her off ah. um so yeah she's just the quiet one who kind of just is in the background and everything okay now behind us there is a, a pretty interesting picture of you and one of your co-stars can you tell us what's going on in that scene there <laughs> um pounder yes it's right there you can okay. see it it's right there mm -hmm. About we, that. Yeah, yeah um, clean that one. He was butt naked. <laughs> ah, okay. I think, actually, I think he had a little piece of, like, duct tape over his groin. Okay. It was my first scene. I was so comfortable. Ah, uh, <laughs> so your first scene in the film was this scene with Was Pounder. this scene with yeah. Pounder. Um, so basically, in the movie, Team Trinity goes to this beach bash party. Yes. And we bring these disguised drugs that look like sweet tarts or something like that that are really ecstasy and we bring them to the party to hopefully drug our team so we can easily spot check them. These and Jesus. during agree. the party some chick who's just on whatever she is just asked to lick my nipple yes out of nowhere licker. yes the nipple licker and she's just touching me and groping me and like won't leave me alone and i just like i'm christian like i can't handle this i just freak out and um so i just all flustered, I just grabbed the bowl of candy, you know, because you're that nervous, like, I eat when I'm nervous, magic. so whatever. Yes, you rescue me from this nipple whore. She's really starting to freak me so out. So I was just pray really for uncomfortable, just like, okay, and just it ended up focused. being ecstasy. So then later in the party, I find my one true love, Pounder, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, he kind of pulls his game on me, kind of just like, yeah. All right. And I fell for it, and I was feeling good, and he looked really cute, I guess. I don't really remember that much. But, um, yeah, and then we ended up hooking up in the bathtub at All a right. frat house. That's how most of the good romances happen. Yeah, I like super it. classy, right? All right. <laughs> now, you can't really tell from the picture behind you, but he is a little person, Pounder is. Now, so I guess you can say the size doesn't matter. It's just, it's about, <laughs> it's just about love. Yes, your character, love. Love, love just loves. Is it true? How, it. How, how about you personally? Do you have a pounder of your own? Right <laughs> no, pounder is my one and only. He's one and only. My one I and like only. It. Now tell me a little <laughs> bit about the game Assassination, because that's what the movie is based off of. The game Assassination, mm -hmm. and you're on Team Trinity, which are the holy ones. So, now, how, how did you prepare for that? Had you played it before? Um, I didn't play it before, but let's see. We filmed this movie at the end of my junior year, and I had seen the seniors at my high school playing it okay. before. It was like seniors only. Greetings. Um, but basically, you Welcome just like get into teams of you know however many in the movie. It was three. I'm um, high school. It was two. And, um, assassination has been a monumental tradition are, like, at secretly St. Cal's University since the 1920s. And you basically just pull pranks on them and try to, like, get them watered down and they're least expecting it okay. kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, a lot of sab sabotage goes on, as you can see, Each in, group in, the, yeah, in the film. Um, and then after the film, I actually played my senior year in high school actually like got out the second round. Oh, no. <laughs> I tried to use some of the same tactics. Not right. the drugging though. Not, not the, the drugging. drugging. Okay, okay, nice. <laughs> Disclaimer there. Stay in school, don't do drugs. Okay. Yeah, good. don't do drugs, stay in school. And then last year, um, in college, I played it with about three hundred people and that was really, really fun. Just with water guns and I was just like, I can't believe I just made a movie on this. Oh wow. Now now how old were you when you filmed this film? Sixteen. You were sixteen at the time, I was 16. And, and now you're nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. And you're a freshman in college or sophomore. A sophomore. Like, Get it yeah. straight. All right. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm that wasn't kidding. my fault. Someone didn't give me my information correctly beforehand. <laughs> um, but yeah. So now, what did you learn from this from this film? Because this was back when you were younger. Did you gain anything from working? Because this is your first big film, I'm guessing. Yeah, that was the first big film. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of kind of learned just to just grow a pair and you know just do whatever's asked of you and it's like it's all in fun yeah you know you can't make a good film without embarrassing yourself or stepping out of your comfort zone so all right. i don't know i've kind of always just stepped out of my comfort zone ever since then now how's working with the cast were, were the cast really cool you guys seem like so you had a lot of fun. much fun so much fun i 
I don't know, they became my family and I was never bored and I was always laughing and I don't know, they're just great, great people to work with. Nice. Yeah. Now what's like one of your favorite like parts of the film, one of your favorite scenes? Um, my favorite scene that I was a part of was probably the nipple liquor scene. The nipple liquor scene, yeah. okay. That's Even though I was very uncomfortable. Yes. <laughs> I just remembered, I don't know, it was so funny, like, who asked another girl if they can lick your nipple? Yeah. I don't know, I just thought that was so bizarre and so out there. And, that is really random. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just, I don't know. Just did you try it afterwards, her... maybe? Just to see, maybe, did you try to get in her shoes, understand why she wanted to <laughs> lick a nipple? No? Never crossed your mind? No. no. Now, had you met the um, actress, the nipple licker, Michelle Fernandez, had you met her before and discussed what you guys are going to do? Yeah. Or? Yeah, okay. we did. She basically just said, I'm just going to grope you and not let you go. And I was like, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. I like yeah. it. Now, what's one of your favorite kills in the movie? Because, you know, assassination, someone has to die in the assassination, I'm guessing. So what was yeah. one of your favorite kills? It was our kill, Team Trinity's kill on Nicolo. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. His chunky ass always hungry had to just stop at the vending machine when we were in the middle of chasing after team mgm and we caught him there and you'll see in the movie it like triple takes because we just got him so good and i would like to say that i was the one who threw the water balloon right in his face you threw the in my you threw the water balloon in my face <laughs> that was a hard water balloon i just have it was like an industrial strength water balloon <laughs> I, I, I would I, apologize, but it was too funny. Interesting. You, <laughs> so, you Team Trinity girls have a little bit of a mean streak, I, I have to say. We How do. was it working with the other two girls? The other so two? funny. So was funny. It? Hope was just a bitch during, you know, during the thing. Yes. But so funny, you know, when she was her real self. And then Faith, like, shooting scenes with her was mm -hmm. just so dumb that it was so hard to, like, stay serious because yes. you just wanted to laugh. I don't know. So you guys had, had a good relationship time. outside of... Okay, that's, that's really good. Yeah. Now, I'm also aware, because I was in the film, is, is there anything going on between you and a uh, certain someone in the film, maybe? What's that? Uh, mm, I think we know who it is. A, 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 little, a, little, little, a little tamale there. A little, <laughs> nice little, little, like a gente, you know, you, do I have to say? Muchacho? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think we all know, Chewy, yes. <laughs> Chewy, or Luis. Oh, I love him. Do you? Yeah. How but... much do you love him? A lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. We grew really close. We talked before we even met. Yeah. And then I knew when he saw me, it was like love at first sight. I knew it. In college, um, I'm working to get into broadcasting. Okay. So ideally, if I was still in my 20s, I would be broadcasting, you know, for entertainment industries, mm -hmm. whether it was E or MTV or just, you know, working in the red carpet. So you want my job right now is what you're basically, can, can you do a better job than me? Is that what you're kind of, that's what I'm getting from that kind of response there? Okay, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, Missy. Sorry. Oh dear. Okay, well, what do you do in your spare time when you're not trying to steal people's jobs that they worked really hard to get? <laughs> um, I dance. Okay. I dance and I dance. I dance you're jazz, hip hop, ballet. I've done African dance. I dance when I'm brushing my teeth. I dance when I'm in the shower. I dance when I'm driving. I dance everywhere. Do you dance during interviews? I, I think can. you should give us a little jig, a little chair dance. A, a How nice about some like hip hop flavor? Okay, I can, I can do a beatbox for it. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, come here at ya, Katie Kale. Hey. Spot check. Hey. Let me be. What? What? To the this window. Mom. Oh, Jersey Shore. I like it. Like it. <laughs> now, as actors go, like, who, who inspires you? Did you, were you, did you look for any outside um, inspiration or influence when it comes, to, like, when it came to playing Hope? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um, love. Love. Um, well, when I first aspired my dream of, you know, getting into acting, I turned to my acting consultant and mentor and coach, and her name's Cynthia Bryan. Ooh, shout and, out, Cynthia. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and um, she actually got me this audition, and this was my very first audition, too. So it was just a huge oh. deal, you know, that I landed the job and everything. Yes. Now, how was it working with Susan? Because this is her first Amazing. film. Amazing. So it was? Yeah. she. You can't even tell that this was her first film, honestly. She knew what she wanted. She mm -hmm. knew when she wanted it, and she knew how to allow us to kind of incorporate our own material, yes. like mix with the characters, and she, you know, she let us do it. And I think that's just like what made the movie so amazing. And, you know, she wasn't strict or boring or, you know, don't have fun. You know, she just wanted us to have fun, wanted us to be us, 
and it was just the best experience I could ever ask for. Yeah. Now, because some of the other people in the cast, they had already worked with her beforehand and certain things, or she had known them. Right. How was that? How were you just being brand new, meeting her only as Susan Romero, the director, opposed to Susan, the teacher, or whatever? How was that? How was that? Right. Well, I don't know. I would think that I kind of went into it thinking I would get intimidated, mm -hmm. that I didn't have any like previous experience with her, but I really wasn't. She's just so welcoming, and so is the rest of the other cast, so I kind of just felt like I was already a part of it. I like it. Now, who's... Your favorite character in the film? Don't you don't have to say me. I mean, it'd be nice, but you know, <laughs> I'm just saying. Just saying um, my favorite character in the film is either Nicolo or Visine. Visine. Now <laughs> we haven't talked too much about Visine. No, my room's messy, you know, but like, who's Visine? His name's Visine because he's just the biggest stoner uh, you could imagine. Must be my new roommate. His, you know, afro like puff balls on top of his head and just like always swearing and. Feeding dogs oh, chips because he he's so high and I've been getting high in this room for like 14 years. And then Nicolo's just a joke. Yes, he's <laughs> he very was an attractive person too. <laughs> he's very. I love the speedo. <laughs> I want a calendar. Oh, the speedo scene. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> I have to say. Now, is, do you, is there anyone of the characters that you relate with? like on a different level besides just your character, Love or Visine, because he likes to feed dogs chips? That I relate with to yes. my own. Mm -hmm. um, I'd probably have to say Abigail. Abigail, okay. Because she's a really nice girl. Uh -huh. And I like to think of myself as a really nice girl and always getting screwed over by guys. Oh. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's what happens to the pretty ones. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> well, Katie, I, I, I thank you for your time. And, you know, before, before we go, tell me why I should go see Spot Check. Me, if I hadn't been in it, you know. Why, why should I go see Spot Check? What about it makes it different than any other movie that I can go and spend my $10 on? Well, one, I don't think there's been any movies that have been about assassination before, which I think is so hard to come up with a brand new idea. Okay. Um, you're going to laugh your ass off. I don't know. I cried last night when we watched the film. <laughs> it's fun. It's upbeat. You know, there's nothing boring about it. And if you're just looking to have a laugh, that's why you go see Spot Check. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing your work and also myself on camera. So, Katie Kale, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And look forward to seeing you in the biz. Y'all? Yep. Get it. Uh.